This incredible car was built in 1967. Its frame consisted of two parts. At the front was a fiberglass cabin, behind which were two vertical racks supported by two pairs of single-pitched wheels with electric drives. In the rear there was an engine and a cargo platform. Two 180 horsepower engines were used as the motor. The first engine was located in the middle of the car and rotated a 120 kilowatt DC generator to drive all the electric motors of the front wheels. In the rear part of the body there was a second engine of the same type, which worked with a hydromechanical transmission. It was used as a backup power unit only to drive the rear axle and was used on the highway or when entering the terrain. The main interest of this car is that behind the cabin, at a distance of 2 meters from each other, two active aircraft support rotary racks were vertically located, which allowed changing the ground clearance within a fairly wide range. The racks together with the wheels could be rotated at an angle of up to 90 degrees. At the same time, all four wheels had a system of automatic tire inflation and pressure regulation. The maximum speed of the car on the highway was 60 km per hour, off-road 10, 20 km per hour. The minimum turning radius was 5 meters. After successful tests, the car was recommended for serial production. But considering the costs of production and the feasibility of the project, it was decided to terminate it. So the unique machine remained in a single copy, the fate of which is unknown.